Hey everyone, it's June 18th, and that means that if today's your birthday, you share it with Tom Wolfolk, a mass murderer who killed nine members of his own family in 1887, becoming known as Bloody Wolfolk. And that is him right up there. Yes, it's a drawing, not a picture. Cameras were rare back then. Don't blame me. Wolfolk was born in 1860 near Macon, Georgia, just before the start of the Civil War. Shortly after his birth, his mother died, and he was sent to live with his aunt, with whom he spent the first seven years of his life. Wolfolk returned to his father's plantation when he remarried and spent the remainder of his childhood with his father, stepmother, and their six children. He didn't get along with any of his new family members, and by his mid-twenties, he was showing signs of mental deterioration. Wolfolk managed to find a wife, but the marriage lasted only three weeks before she had had enough, saying, He is not crazy. It is simple meanness. He is the meanest man I ever saw, and there is nothing too mean for him to do. She was soon proven right because at 4 a.m. on August 6, 1887, Wolfolk snapped, killing nine of his own family members in their shared plantation home with an axe. The victims were his father, stepmother, their six children, and an elderly relative of his stepmother. All of the victims were struck in the back of their head with an axe, and the children ranged in age from 18 months to 20 years. They were all found in bed, except for two of the boys who were on their parents' floor, and one of the girls found near a window where she had been trying to escape. The beds, walls, and ceilings were covered in blood and brain tissue, with pools of blood collecting on the floor. Wolfolk ran to the neighbor's house to seek help, telling him that his entire family had been murdered by an intruder and that he was the only one able to escape. Within hours, the entire town had come to the house to stare at the goings-on, and Wolfolk's story quickly unraveled. He had left bloody footprints around the house, and he had blood in his ear canal, and he showed no emotion when telling the story of his entire family being killed in front of him. The crime made the front page of the New York Times, and it was called the bloodiest, blackest chapter in Georgia criminal history. And he was described as the greatest monster of the age, the cruelest and most bloodthirsty brute on record. He was convicted and sentenced to hang for the murders, but the verdict was overturned due to the general attitude in the community about the crime. Wolfolk was given a second trial after a change of venue, and he was convicted a second time and sentenced to hang. It was carried out in 1890 in front of a crowd of 10,000 people, but the fall from the gallows didn't snap his neck, so Wolfolk spent 15 minutes choking at the end of a rope before finally succumbing to death. If this is your birthday, I hope you have a great day. Leave me a comment so I can wish you a happy birthday. If you know somebody whose birthday it is today, send them this video so they can find out all about their birthday twin. And to Tom Wolfolk, I say, happy birthday, you bastard.